today I'm going to be doing a favorites video for the month of June. I'm, the only reason why I'm doing a favorites video for the month of June is because I felt like June was the one month that I just wanted to try everything. And everything that I tried, I fell in love with. So I think it was only right to do a video of such kind. So I'm going to go straight into it because I have so many products I want to talk about that I fell in love with this month that we just kind of have to tackle it. So the first product is going to be my CK1 3-in-1 with SPF 8 um, face makeup. I know y'all probably like CK, like what? But no, trust me, this product is to die for. I actually went into Ulta intentionally going to purchase the Bare Minerals um, foundation that everybody's like all amped up about. And then the girl at the counter was like, I don't think you want to get that because if you have oily skin, it's just going to make your face look more oily because it's made of coconut oil. So I was just like, oh, serious? And I was kind of let down because I was like so excited to go and buy it. And everybody was like talking about it. And all the rage on YouTube is it's the best product and this and that. And I actually just wanted to buy it for the brother. So I was just like, I want something that's very light on the face, not too much blotting necessary. And another thing. Like, I don't care for price, I just want something that's going to work for me. I was leaving work, so Ulta is like literally down the street from my job, so I was like, let me just go into Ulta real quick and see if I could get something. Either it's drugstore or like high-end, I just wanted a new foundation, I was desperate. So, she brought me over to the CK counter, and I was like, oh, well I never wore CK before. And she's like, oh really, they have, they have really good stuff. I don't like, you know, I never really think to get CK because I don't feel like it's not a, like a trusty brand. And she was like, trust me girl, you'll love it. And like, she was one of those cool chicks. She was very down to earth. So I knew like she wasn't playing. I freaking love this. If I didn't love it, why would it be in my June favorites, right? No, I freaking love this fact that it comes with a pump. Not many foundations come with the pump anymore. I feel like forget, people like forget that. And I hate the ones where you have to like, you know, like put it on your finger and like dab it on. This one, you just pump it on your hand, swoosh, 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 swoosh. And I usually tap this in with a brush, foundation brush. I think I use my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush, and I'm telling you, girl, it is airbrush finish. And the one thing I do love about it is that it's very easy to blend. It's not one of those like streaky foundations where you have to go over it again it's one of those foundations and another thing i like about it is that i don't catch myself blotting all the time and i felt like with l'oreal i would like crease up in like certain areas and i would have to take my finger and just go shoop. like you don't have to blot you don't have to fix your face I and another th reason why i like it is because it's inexpensive i'd say it's pretty good decent price thirty dollars they have 13 shades um it's an Ulta, so it's not like you have to go like to Sephora and find it. What else do I like about it? I had something else to say. I just love it. Go ahead and get it. I'm telling you, if you want something good for the summer, get this product. Second product I want to talk about is the Milani face powder. This was intentionally supposed to be a face powder, but I use it for bronzing. <clears throat> I got this from CVS and one of those like, you know, you don't need this, but you're going to get it anyway because you feel like wasting your money um, trips but I love this product because it's lightweight it blends really well when you're contouring and it's like a natural sun kissed glow it's not one of those like heavy like muddy kind of bronzers it's one of those really pretty just dusty looking I actually have it on my hand right now I don't know if y'all can see it because I have really bad lighting right now but I really like it it doesn't smell like anything but it's easy blendable i usually just blend it with i take the um the the little brush that comes in with the hula bronzer and just kind of like run it through my face you can use this as the base for your hula bronzer i use it just by itself because it's summertime i don't want to look too contoured out because it's really hot out but i really do love this i think this is like 7.99 um, but you know CVS has those like amazing coupons that come in the mail so I used it for that. If you hear kids screaming in the back don't mind that's my little brothers and sisters they're playing around. Okay the second product I've been using like crazy especially now that it's the summertime I don't like doing a whole face of makeup so I just like you know 
sit this through my um, dark circles and my blemishes and my imperfections. And this works like a gem. You've seen this up and down YouTube, so there's not much to talk about it. I have this in neutralizer, which a lot of people don't have. Everybody wears the light, but the light is just too pink for me. So I wear it in neutralizer, and it's kind of like a yellow tone. It reminds me of the Light Boost from MAC. I kind of use it as like a dupe for it. <clears throat> love this, love this, love this. I have actually two sit in the back as a um, repurchase item, so... This is definitely a holy grail of mine. The next product I'm going to be talking about is another, and I think this is the last makeup product, not oh, one more makeup product. This is the Cannonball by Urban Decay Mascara. It's a waterproof mascara, and all my life I've really steered away from waterproof mascaras because they just never come off. And I'm one of those like in the shower makeup removal people. So I actually stumbled upon this in one of the YouTube videos that I watched. I think it was Claire. That um, kind of like introduced this to me. Uh, love this product. Oh. Serious? Elsa? I'm recording. I curl my lashes and then I slide, you know, I whip this through my lashes and I love it. The brush itself is like a very, what's the word I'm looking for? Very tight bristles. And with the tight bristles that crisscross one another, it gets all into your lashes without having to like reapply and all that. I never reapply mascara because I feel like it just makes your lashes look really spidery and a lot of people go for that. But I feel like the more spidery it looks, the more it tends to clump up and the lashes kind of like the, the dryness of the lashes kind of like droop off on your face throughout the day. But I love this mascara. It really does last all day. Like sometimes when I'm in the shower and I thought I'd take it all off, I go out and it's still there and I'm like... That's the only time I probably hate it. But other than that, it's a very good formula. I really, really love the packaging. It's, I mean, it lives for the name Ultra Waterproof. And, I mean, it's fairly affordable. It's 20 bucks, I think. But I had this for a good while. It's probably going to be in my March, February, January, May, April, September or favorites too. Because this is seriously probably one of my Holy Grail products makeup favorites is my NYX Photogenic HD Concealer in the color yellow. I actually stumbled upon this bad boy when I was at CVS. You know how CVS carries like all the NYX products now? I love it. I love NYX products. I feel like they're so underrated. But I love, 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 love. I sometimes just wear this by itself. No kind of like setting powder or anything. It just works like a gem. And when I mean it's yellow, like this bad boy is yellow. It's yellow. And um, it kind of just gets rid of all like the green dark circles that I have due to the lack of sleep. But I love this. And it's a really great combo with the Age Rewind. It kind of just amps it up a little more, which I mean. Who doesn't love the amped up makeup, right? The next two are lotion products. I have really sensitive skin. And with sensitive skin, I tend to just break out like that over like the most simplest thing like perfume. Like I'm allergic to flower balm. I wish I would have known that before I bought the big bottle and the hair mist, but it's okay. So with the sensitive skin, I break out. And then with breaking out, it creates like dry patches on my skin. So I had to go to the dermatologist and my dermatologist suggested the CeraVe Therapeutic Hand Cream. This is the second, whoa! Oh, I don't feel like getting it. That's the second tube that I bought the, this year maybe. I use it through like underwear girl. Like I'm out of it in months, like not even months. I'm out of it in weeks and it just really keeps my hands soft and pretty and nice and smooth and I love the smell of it. My boyfriend does too but oh it just smells so good. Enough of that. Next product is the <clears throat> Jergens Natural Glow. These are for my pale sisters out there. Um, I have a problem with tanning. I don't tan, I burn. And with that being said, I don't do the fake bake. I don't do sitting out in the sun. I don't even like sit in the tanning beds. It's just, it doesn't turn out nice for me. So I fake bake. 
And this is the Natural Glow by Jergens. It's also a daily firming moisturizer. Kind of gets into your cellulite derriere. But I love this because it has a very lovely scent. It doesn't have that tanning scent that people like. I hate the smell of sunscreen and this doesn't smell like any of it. The only thing I suggest is that you put this on 15 minutes before you decide to go to bed or wear clothes because it does kind of rub off on stuff. Um, I think it comes out in the shower depending on how hard you scrub in the shower but it's definitely long lasting and it really is worth it because you have sun kiss glowing skin that's just beautiful and the only thing I don't like about it is it kind of has a glitter so you kind of walk around looking like Edward Cullen but it's okay it's still pretty it's glowy and the product that I totally forgot to mention was the Too Faced Candlelight Glow. Nobody really talks about this product, but it's so pretty. It's um, a duo highlighting powder. It has the pink side and it has the white side. I use this just on my cheekbones and sometimes my cupid's bow if I want to get fancy. And sometimes I even put it in my tear ducts. And it's so pretty. It's I usually use Soft and Gentle by MAC, but this is probably my newfound favorite. I love this thing this has been seen up and down youtube too this is the mask of magmentity by lush i we actually have a lush here in new orleans and i remember when i was younger i would walk past the store and it would just smell so good and then you get older and you're like oh that's the place everybody talks about but this is the mask of magmentity i love this like i wish i had smell vision like smell of vision it smells so good it smells literally like mint chocolate chip, but only better. But you just want to eat it. it kind of looks like mint chocolate chip too. I could probably stash this in the freezer and people would probably eat it. But shout out to Sheldon. He made my he made my mask. And um it has like these beans in it. The Adzuki beans. And literally once you put this on, I probably wait like a minute. My face starts just like tingling and kind of burning but it tingles and it just feels so good and I let it sit for about five minutes take it off with warm water and your face feels like brand new so I've been trying to grow out my nails because I've been a nervous wreck lately I don't know I've just been stressed or I've just been like really bored I decided to bite all my nails off but I decided to just grow out my nails and just see how long and how fast they grow so in the process of that I decided to hook myself up with these tips. Now we all seen these when we were younger. We would like buy these and just stick them on and make ourselves look cool. But um, I actually just decided to get these because you know why not? I feel like these will work because the glue is not that strong. <clears throat> but I really like these. They look natural. I got the short one. But it's the everyday French. You could totally polish over these and have like natural nails that people don't even notice. Like I've worn these so many times at work people are like oh my god your nails are so pretty. I'm like girl these are tips and they'd be like what? Like tips? Who still wears tips? I'm like trust me. When you start using these you get obsessed with them. You don't even miss your acrylics anymore. Um, I usually just use a better glue. So the glue that I'd be Kiss Maximum nail glue I've been loving this glue because it does have a little strong odor to it but it lasts all day long my nails don't pop off they work like hella good and they work very fast it adheres to your nails very fast this is the caviar repair split end men's treatment that I've been using this is by actually um was introduced to this by a hair genius by the name of Guy Tang. If you follow me on Instagram, I'm always liking his stuff. And um, if you're on Instagram, you want to follow him because it's like, oh, hair porn. Like, dude, he does amazing work. Well, he swears by this product and I swear by it too. I been dyeing my hair back and forth in my last video my hair was blonde now it's like a dark well it's like a light brown like a cool light brown i love my hair right now but i actually use this to mend my split end kind of towel dry your hair squeeze dime size like you know amount on your palm and then just zhuzh it through your ends and only your ends 
just kind of like play with it and then blow dry your hair and i'm telling you the results are beautiful the next one is the it's a 10 miracle leave-in plus keratin can you believe this is a sample size like that's the size of my hand this is a sample size the girl at um also hooked me up with this i love the smell it's just oh. but this is one of those leave-in conditions everything that it says that it does it does like i love this stuff it's perfect for all hair types so just find the one that you love but i'm telling you now the one with plus keratin is really really good. the when lavender treatment i just bought it because it was lavender but you can put this on your skin if your skin's just feeling a little dehydrated and oh, just Dude, the smell is just so good. This is the L'Oreal Paris new Boosted High Lift Creation Spray. You just kind of, it's a volume in a can pretty much. Volume in a can. It's not a volume. It's volume in a can. So, say your hair is pretty flat, right? You just kind of... Out of my mouth. Leave it there in your hair. It's extra volumey. super volumizing it's what probably the Victoria's Secret models use for all the volume in their hair I love this stuff it works really well you just have to get it just believe it for yourself like kind of like the two-day hair thing this is what you clean your two-day hair with this is the not your mother's clean freak replenishing dry shampoo I love this for the fact that one it works and two the smell of it, it smells like baby powder I love it. It just smells so good. It works like a gem. Um, it doesn't give you like the really dry, blotchy white spots that most dry shampoos give you. It really does work. And it doesn't leave your hair super grimy and like it felt like, you know, there's like super like a shitload of products in it. It girl. It works. I've been using the crap out of my Bellamy 6 in 1 um hair wand. This is the biggest barrel they have. I don't really know the numbers, something millimeter, but this is the biggest one they have. Um, there's not much to say about it. This has been all over YouTube. I love this thing. Like, it doesn't damage my hair. It doesn't curl it and leave it cracky looking. It's just smooth, soft. This is without hairspray. And it works really fast. It has two notches, so it's one and two, and then zero, if you wanna count zero as that. But it's LED and I mean, you just have to go get it. I'm from the South and I love spicy food. And I'm pretty sure you can only get this in the South. But if y'all can get y'all hands on it, I probably want to say Amazon has it. Amazon has everything. But it is the Chester's Hot Flaming Cheetos. Now you have to get the Chester's one. Don't get the Cheetos with the... Like, it's the same company that makes Cheetos, but this is the Chester's fries. And they are the bomb.com. I couldn't wait any longer. To film, so I just ate all of them pretty much. And um, these are the best chips ever. Like my sister, she's seven. She could go. No, oh, she's eight. She's probably gonna watch this and be like, "I'm not seven. I'm eight. Well, this is the best chips ever. So that's it, you guys. That was my June favorites. I hope you guys like the products and are convinced enough to go out and venture out and try these products. I know for a fact that you will love them because. I mean, I'm a pretty picky person, but I know for sure that the ones that I use are pretty much hands-on staples in my beauty routine. So I hope you guys go out and purchase these items. And if you don't, tell somebody about it. You know, if you feel like your friend has ashy hands, go out and tell them to buy the CeraVe Daily Moisturizer. If you feel like your friend has really muddy, mucky looking hair, tell her to go buy the Not Your Mother's Clean Freak Dry Shampoo. Whatever it goes, you're helping someone else. And that's what I want to do for you guys. I want to help you guys achieve and look like supermodels. So until next time, you guys, I'll see y'all later. Bye. I said that so ugly. Until next time, you guys. Bye. What level are you guys on the Kim Kardashian game? I'm on level, I don't care. I'm an A-lister right now. I'm so buffed up. Hold on, I gotta finish this shoot, girl.
Like, it's to the point where I'm like addicted to this game. If I wake up in the middle of the night and I can't sleep, I'll just play a couple of rounds until I run out of those little thunderbolts. And then it's time to go to bed again. But I don't know what it is about this game. It's just so fun. I feel like a girl. Like a little girl. I'm at the edge ad campaign. That's my character right there. Wait, where is she? I don't know if you can see her. She's blonde. <laughs> Oh, did you watch that Brazil game? Oh, they did not see that coming. <laughs> Follow me on Instagram, it's Julie Jackson. I'm pretty interested. Full time. Someone's about to die. About to be on some aerial shit and just play with it with a fork. Insane.